Hello, welcome to Live Kids Online. I am Auntie Casey. I'm Auntie Wendy. I'm Auntie Lian. Let's start our service today with a word of prayer. God, I lift my hands to you. Speak to me and let me know you more today. Help me to see your hands working in me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's have our worship team to lead us in a time of praise and worship. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope. worship session we had. Now is lesson time. Are you ready? Today we will be learning about Lydia, small but big series. And you can read all about it from Acts chapter 16. And our key verse for today is Acts chapter 16 verse 14. The Lord opened her heart to respond to Paul's message. Who was Lydia? Lydia was described as a dealer in purple from Tyatira, a Greek city known for its trade in purple cloth. She is considered the first European convert to Christianity. We first meet Lydia at a riverside in Philippi with a group of women who had gathered there to pray. Ancient Philippi did not have synagogues as there weren't many Jews there. So Jews in the city would gather at the bank of the river for Sabbath worship. It was there that Paul and Silas met and talked with her about Jesus, and it was there that she became the first convert to Christianity in Greece. The Bible says that the Lord opened her heart to respond to Paul's message. She believed in the Christian gospel and it was for everyone. She demonstrated this when she and her entire household was baptized. After she and her household were baptized, she invited Paul and Silas into her house saying, Come and stay in my house if you have decided that I am a true believer in the Lord. 
Lydia welcomed Paul and Silas to her home again when they were released from prison. They had been sent to prison when the people were angry at them for casting out a demon in a servant girl. The meaning of Lydia The name Lydia most likely came from her place of origin. Her name may also be from the Latin word for purple, which relates to her connection with purple dye. Our key point for today is Key point number one, she was a God-fearing woman. Lydia was a Gentile woman who believed in the true God and followed the teaching of the scripture. Her heart was open to respond to the gospel message by Paul. She responded to the gospel and was baptized along with her household. She also seems to have had influence over other people, which she exercised in a positive way. Key point number two. She was hospitable to Paul, Silas and Timothy. Lydia understood that she had become part of the Christian community and had the right and privilege to care for others. She realized that she was now part of a faith family in which all members have to look out for one another. When Paul accepted her invitation, he was doing his part to welcome others into the community. For this week, we are going to do a craft about Lydia, the character that we are learning this week. Now, let us start our craft time. We need an A4 size uh, color paper. We have pink, but best that if you have purple, a pair of scissors, a pencil, some color pencils or marker or sharpies that whatever you have, some decorative items like uh, stickers, fold half, open up, and fold inside towards the, the middle line there. Right, take your pencil and draw a big heart shape. Okay, then you cut out the heart shape. Write down, the Lord opened Lydia's heart. Well done, it's good. To complete this, uh, put on some uh, stickers. The Lord opened Lydia's heart. We have included the following discussion questions that you can discuss together with your daddy and mommy. Number one, how can we show care and be hospitable to our friends, including those who are new to life kids? Number two, are we influencing others in a good or in a bad way? Do your friends see Jesus in you? We have reached the end of our lesson. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Let's close in a word of prayer. Dear God, as I know you, let me rise to become a church leader just like Lydia. In Jesus' name, Amen. That's all for today. Goodbye. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Bye.